Okay, sixth grade, lesson 107. This is on area of complex shapes. Now, do you remember, I think it was last week sometime, we took two shapes and we'd have an amount here, but then we wouldn't know this, but we would know this and this. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Okay, that's kind of what we're gonna be learning today. Okay, but you're gonna learn how to find the area of what's on the inside, not just knowing what's on the outside and how to come up with that. Okay. Okay? So here's an example. We have three, and then there's an A and a B, because we don't know what those are. Four, seven, and six. Now, help me figure out what A and B are before we begin doing what we're doing. Well, if we're going to have to get the, I mean, the area, we're going to have to probably make it a perfect square. You're and exactly six, right. six is on that side. Four plus three would make a full line. You could do a dotted perfect square. Okay. You could do seven yes. times six. That is actually a way you can do it. But I'm going to teach you another way today. But that's actually a more complex way, harder way to do it. Okay. But you will eventually have to learn how to do that. Okay. But let's just figure out what A and B are right now. Do you remember me telling you when you are missing an A or a line right here, what do you look at? You look at the parallel other lines that are parallel. Okay. So help us figure out if this one is four from here to here. So from here to here would be four, right? Yep. So this whole thing is six. So what would this portion be up here? Three. Almost. Four and oh, two. Uh, two would equal a total yeah. of six. Four plus two is six. Else. Yeah. So this A is going to be two. Do you see how we did that? Four. Okay, because from here to here is two. Now, my drawing's not completely right because this wouldn't be four and this would be two because my lengths are... Then B would be uh, four. Okay, and so we did from here to here is three. So let's look at the parallel lines of this one. So from here to here would be three. So you're saying from here to here would be four because four plus three is seven. Good. Okay, so we figured out the, the um, amounts. Now, what we're going to do... And I'm going to take off all these other things and just put a six here. Just put a seven there. We actually might need to leave those, but we'll just leave them for now. Okay, now I can do one of two things. I can either split these into two like this, or I could have split it into two like that. Okay. It really doesn't matter. You can choose which one you prefer. Does okay. one look better than the other? Yeah, I would say splitting the, the other top one? square off would be better. This way? Yeah. Okay, so now basically you're pretending like this is one square and this is two square or two rectangle. Number one and number two. Okay, so now what you're needing is the length and the width of my second rectangle and the length and the width of my first rect or triangle. I said, okay. Okay. Square. Thank you. Woo. Okay. So, number one would be uh, two times three. Yes, so we're basically finding the area of just this. Very good. So, area of a tri or a rectangle or a square is two times three. And two times yeah. three is six. So, area of number, I'm going to put rectangle one equals six. And this is in centimeters. So, we're going to put six centimeters squared. Okay, because remember the centimeters times centimeters? Yeah. Is also, okay? So, we're done with that one. Now, let's do number two. Okay? okay, we need a length and a width. Do we know a yeah. length and a width? Uh, yes, I think so. Okay. Well, we would, it would be seven and four, I four. think. Four, very good. So we have a full length and we have a full width. It doesn't matter which side it's on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so seven times four is 28. So the area of rectangle two is 28 centimeters squared. Okay, and guess what we do to figure out the whole part? We add them. 28 plus 6. 28 plus 6 is 34 centimeters squared. Do we and square it? Yes, because these are already squared. Uh -huh. And so you just leave them that way. Oh, okay. Okay, so 6 centimeters squared plus 28 centimeters squared. Now, if I was multiplying, then I would do 6 times 28, and then I would do centimeters times... Centimeter squared times centimeter squared will become centimeters to the fourth power. And you'll learn about that later. But that doesn't actually happen because we only have 3D measurements, not 4D, yeah. when we're doing shapes. Okay? So it'll only go up to 3 on shapes. Okay. okay? So 
four centimeters squared is be the answer for that one. Feel like you understand it? Yeah. All right, that's lesson 107. Okay, before moving on to the next lesson, I did want to show you how to do B from the lesson practice because it's not actually taught in the lesson, but it needs to be. And so, draw this on your paper with me. Here's what the shape looks. Here's what the shape looks like. I'm gonna give you a hint. Weird. Okay, so it's this one long one here, and it goes up and then over like that. Okay, and here's the information they give me. They give me a 14 centimeters here, a six centimeters here, and a 10 centimeters here. Now, this doesn't have an amount. Okay. Now, this one is going to have to be broken up into a rectangle and a triangle. So, as you can see, that's where our line's going to go. So, it okay. becomes a little bit of a different problem. I have a rectangle and a triangle, which are two different findings of area. Yeah. Okay? So, in order to find this rectangle, do I have enough information? Mm -hmm. Yes. Which two numbers would I use to find the area? Six and 14. Well, 14 goes from here. Oh, here. I'm sorry. Uh, 10 and 6. Good job. So, I would take, to be able to find this rectangle, so I'm going to put area of the rectangle, that's how I just, area of rectangle, okay. equals 10 centimeters times 6 centimeters, which equals 60, 60 centimeters squared. squared. So, I'm going to put 60 centimeters squared in that spot because we found it. Okay. okay. Now, this one's a little bit more difficult. Okay. What do I need to know when I'm doing a triangle? What, what what parts of this, what sides do I need to know? The base the times bottom one. width, right? The base times height. Yeah. Good job. Right. Now, and we already, the height is six because, you know, it's Right, true. okay. So since this is six from here to here, and it's we a know rectangle that this still. is a six, right? Mm -hmm. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. So this is a six and this is a six centimeters. Good job. Okay, and so what is the base? Four, the four because. Whoa. Four. Very good. Yeah, 4 because 10 on the top, and then it's 14, so 14 minus 4 is 10. And it is so, four. yes, so you're saying from here to here is 14, but from here to here is 10. So the so remainder would be 4. this is 10, four. and this is 4. Very good. So, do I need to know this? No. No. Okay, because you can't find the height of a slanted object, okay? So it has to be standing straight up. So we only need the base times the height, which is 6 times 4. But the area of a triangle is what? Base uh, times, times height three. divided by two. two. Because okay. remember, a triangle is half yeah. of a rectangle. Okay, so help me out. So what would I do? Six times base times height four. is 24 four mine, uh, divided by it, two. So that would be 12. So the area of the triangle is 12 centimeters, centimeters times centimeters centimeters squared. I would write it out so I don't have enough room. Okay. okay. So this triangle is 12 centimeters squared. Okay. Now I have that information written down, but is that final answer? Uh, I don't think so. No, because now I have the rectangle and the triangle. I need the total of this entire thing. Okay. So we would need the entire total 60 plus 12 centimeters squared would equal 72 centimeters squared. Do you see how I got that? Mm -hmm. So where people get messed up on this is they just do 6 times 10, which gives us 60, but then they take over here and go 4 times 6 and get 24, and then they write 24 there. It's not really 24 because a triangle's area is half. Yeah. So a lot of people would have made this answer 84 centimeters squared. Mm -hmm. But they're forgetting that this triangle is base times height divided by 2. So it's always good to know your areas of whatever you're working with, how the formula. So base times height divided by two is the triangle formula, and the rectangle formula formula is just length times width. Okay. So the final answer would be 72 centimeters squared. That is lesson 107.